We are grateful that our teachers are here and that we're able to celebrate them and recognize them. And if you looked at their reflections in the special program this evening, there would be three areas which you would find common in everybody's reflection. One, how they are passionate about not only teaching, but learning from the children. Two, how they are thankful and grateful for the support that they have from their colleagues and from our educational leaders. And three, how Temple Beth Ham and Rambam Day School has become their home, a family, a place where they feel comfort, calm, joy, and excitement. So as we call those teachers who are celebrating five years, 10 years, 15 years, nobody at 20, 25 years, they will come down this aisle. And um, so I'm here six years, but this is the first time on a Friday night I need my readers. <laughs> See how time changes everything. We invite first our school counselor, Michelle Bortnick. <laughs> celebrating five years. Michelle, Michelle writes as Rambam School Counselor. She has the privilege of seeing life through our youngest learners' eyes all the way through those graduating fifth grade. And she is thankful for the support that she has given during this period of COVID to every staff member. Thank you, Michelle. Also, also celebrating five years. We are celebrating Natalia Garcia, one of our second grade teachers. Um, I know this isn't fair, but I'm gonna ask you to hold your applause till the end, okay? Because all of your teachers are awesome. I actually have known Natalia since she was a teenager. And when she started teaching here, I thought she was filling in as a high school student, but no, she is a full grown adult and a phenomenal teacher, as you can see from the love that she's receiving, even from our fifth grade students. Celebrating five years, we invite Maya Greenberg, one of our Hebrew teachers. <laughs> and Maya writes, getting to know the students and seeing how the school works, both as a teacher and of course she started as a parent. Seeing the kids grow is an adventure. Thank you, Maya and Mazal Tov. And we're celebrating our pre-nursery teacher, Lily Moskowitz. <laughs> Lily. Oh, it's just over there. Lily, a start here as a parent, is so grateful for the amazing education that her sons received here at Rambam and now is giving a phenomenal education to our pre-nursery kids. We're sure to find her smiling and <laughs> receiving love from the next generation. We congratulate our kindergarten teacher, Melissa Reimer. She has, when she first started here as a sub, she prayed for a permanent position. And so she is now a kindergarten teacher. This experience brought her joy and excitement and the challenges of new classrooms and new children every year. Mazal tov, Melissa. We're celebrating Mequita Ruiz Vieira. Our Oh, you got, I don't, you've got a lot of little people cheering for you in the front row. Oh, I think she might not be here, but she can't believe that it's been five years. We're so excited to celebrate her. And she just loves her students and loves her parents and most of all loves her colleagues. And Mazel Tov to Evan Salzberg. <laughs> One of our fourth grade team who said Rambam Day School has become his home since he moved here five years ago from Connecticut. And his team encourages him every day, as does the students, of course. And both of my boys have had Mr. Salzburg. <laughs> All right. We said that the, the kids' enthusiasm is one of the things the teachers love so much. And 
And I don't know that our students will know her that well, but we really couldn't function within our schools without this particular person who's celebrating now 10 years, Lisa Reichert, who is our school administrator, started out just working for years in the religious school and is now also helping in our day school. Mazel tov, Lisa. In celebrating 10 years, we invite Lori Smith, one of our fifth grade teachers. I think they want A's, Lori. <laughs> Out. Lori comments on committed parents and the wonderful children who warm her heart every day. And we're so, I'm, I'm a little scared to say her name. We're celebrating another one of our fourth grade teachers, Jamie Williams. <laughs> Mrs. Williams also started out here as a parent and her, one of her daughters is here in the sixth grade. And we kept trying to convince her to come to the school because we know what a phenomenal educator she is and she is a phenomenal educator and so beloved. <laughs> Well, they couldn't have made it to fourth grade or fifth grade until they started as a young child. We are celebrating Marissa Young from pre-nursery. The congregation feels like family. There's a sense of comfort being here. It's where Marissa says she feels she belongs with our children and with our families. Mazel tov, Marissa. I also want to just say Marissa is a fabulous dancer. Just putting that out there. And celebrating 15 years, going from being the teacher of one grade to teaching all grades, we have Mrs. Barbara Fishman. Uh, Barbara Fishman, oh, uh, yeah. We are so excited to have you teaching pre-K and. Where is she? There she is. I know she was with kindergarten today. I will tell you, if you are a parent and she has been in your child's classroom, she will always have some beautiful detail to include about how your kid learned that day. And now she gets to love our whole school. Celebrating 15 years, but we should really add on some more years because Kim Lazar started as a nursery student in the preschool and so where's Kim she has grown up here at Temple Beth Am she's been on this journey as a child herself and is so grateful that now she sees the grandparents teachers of her her teachers who are now grandparents bringing in their children to school And our pre-K teacher, Michelle Schur, started here also as a mom with her now 23-year-old son and her triplets. Um, but she loves her kids in pre-K. And so many people look to her as a loving mother figure. We are grateful tonight for Leora Vogel from Nat Pre-Nursery but also Cam. Laura writes that 15 years ago, she joined our Temple Beth Ammon School family. She found purpose and passion in the work she does serving our children and families. Our next woman that we're honoring not only brought herself and love and passion for the Hebrew language, <laughs> She also brought us Bensi. Bensi the turtle who has gone to more countries and on more adventures than anybody in this sanctuary. <laughs> Yannette Zalkberg celebrating 15 years of molding our children and making them fall in love with Hebrew. And we have 
one person to honor tonight who has been a part of our school family and temple family for 25 years. Now as the... Yes, you are right. Oh, that's why. <laughs> Let me say some nice things. Mrs. Susie Novak brought her own children, brought her own children to our school, became an assistant teacher, a lead teacher, taught my own child for two years, and has worked and built and created and loved and led our faculty and our children and our, student, our students, all those here a part of our school. She writes, our mission guides us as we are deeply aware that we have the incredible responsibility of creating Jewish leadership classes of tomorrow. And we can always know that Mrs. Novak takes this mission seriously. And that's why we are all here tonight to celebrate and to move our mission forward. Mazel Tov, Susie. Mazel Tov. And I'd like to invite all of our teachers who are here tonight to come on up to the Bima while the cantor and Mrs. Bernie bless you. And then the rabbi has a special blessing. For our teachers and their students and the students of the students, we ask for peace and loving kindness and let us say amen. And for those who study Torah here and every day, may they with all they need and let us say amen we ask for peace and loving kindness and let us say Thank you so much to all of our uh, fifth graders who were the, uh, the cheerleaders and, uh, and who held their applause to the end so beautifully. Uh, thank you all for, for being here. You know, there's a, there's a quote that I love and I, I, I use it a lot from Eleanor Roosevelt. She once said that weak minds talk about people and average minds talk about events. Great minds talk about ideas. And the teachers who make up our school spend all day with your children, with our children, thinking about ideas, turning their minds uh, into, into great, sharp minds that are prepared for leadership and to meet the incredible challenges that, that face our world. You know, I spend all day cheerleading and telling people how incredible our school is, how incredible our congregations are. But the truth is that a school is nothing uh, without its teachers. In our case, it's nothing without our teachers and those who help them. So I'm, I'm very uh, blessed today to honor as well the head of our Rambam Day School, Nora Anderson, who is here, as well as the head of our religious school, Tamara Donenfeld, who is here as well, both of them, to honor 
our teachers uh, who represent us on the front lines every, every single day. So as all of you have come here tonight with love and reverence for our community, for our congregation, for our people, and for our children, it is our honor now to bless you with these ancient words from our tradition. May God watch over you and bless you. May God shine his light upon you and always deal kindly with you. May God lift his face upon you and grant you with an abundance of health, happiness, love, Torah, and shalom, peace. We say together, Amen. Amen. Mazel tov and thanks Mazel tov. to all of you. Mm.